you'll have this one and this one left over this is what you need so this is what it's gonna stencil out to i just use thumbtacks or push pins i've seen a lot of people use the like clothes pins the ones like that you use for sewing and to hold them i guess those might be easier i don't know i didn't have them i don't fucking sew so um yeah i just use those and i have this leftover paint that's what we're gonna use i gotta go mix it in but that's what i'm gonna use so we'll see how this goes So that's what it's kind of looking like right now. I took off this stencil. I do got to go in a little bit more because this is a weird mat, but this is the cheapest one I found at Home Depot. It was like five bucks. And um, thank you, baby. So you can see like the indents. It's a little bit harder to get the paint in there, but I got it in pretty well. I just got to go over it again. There's a little line there that goes. Um, all these little fine lines I got to go through again. But so far, so good. See, like right here. Just gotta go over it again. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit more. Can you hear me? So, I'll let it dry a little bit more, and then I'll go over maybe twice more. I think should do it. But so far, so good. I'm, it's coming out a whole lot better. Oh, that's it. It's coming out a whole lot better than um, than I expected. And I liked having used this the outdoor and I mean the indoor paint that I had because I it. It hold it feels like it'll hold up a lot better than the acrylics that I've seen used. So we'll see how that comes out though.